disarm. Here we are, day five, uh, Drone Worlds. So this, today we actually don't have to lie to get in here, which is kind of amazing. Normally we have to get harassed by the front gate guards and they decide that uh, if we need to get in here or not, but apparently today to get here you gotta go to Clue Ranch and take a shuttle, which that, that ain't happening. So uh, told them we were VIPs and they let us come over here and we get to park in this little fun area, hopefully, until we get chased down again. So, but uh, one last time with this, look at this valley. And for those of you that didn't uh, understand why I had the Jurassic Park music a couple days ago, that's because this is where they filmed Jurassic Park, along with about 50 other or so movies. So here we are inside the VIP section. Uh, we can see it's a little bit more set up today. We get these uh, fancy little lay things and uh, these water bottles. However, they've been handing them out like candy. Anybody who says they are part of the event, so uh, not really sure what the lure is. However, people who came with us who didn't even pay anything for this VIP experience got to come in here for free as well and not uh, have any sort of problems. No one questioned them, no one asked them questions, no one asked for credentials. They just let them in and gave them the same stuff we got. So, good job. It's one of the local guys here that we met. He was flying his little mini quad and he uh, is inside a tree just happens to be the biggest tree we're here. He's somewhere at their top. We're gonna go find him. Or I'm gonna record him falling out of the tree. One of the two. Not sure yet. I can hear it. Where is it? You can hear it saying, help me. Let's see how this goes.
going on guys? So we uh, just finished up flying here at this awesome park. It's, uh, we've been here a couple times now, but decided to fly this side. because We were going to play with these trees over here. One of the guys we're flying with got stuck in this big gigantic one. It took us quite a bit to, as you saw anyways, it took us quite a bit to get out. But uh, just enjoying the scenery for the last time. We get to leave Hawaii tomorrow, head back to Alaska, back to the cold. So uh, <clears throat> head up to Drone Worlds today for a little bit. Kind of hung out in the VIP lounge and people we were with and just random people walked up in there and no one asked them for anything and they got the same benefits as the people who paid for VIP. So this just furthers the uh, joke that DSA runs. So uh, really hope that if they are allowed to continue to run events that they really get their act together and you know take feedback from people as there's quite a few folks that are not very happy with them. So but one last time, let's take a look at that big old mountain behind me. Check back in here in a while. Well, that was day five here in Drone Worlds, and uh, it's our last, probably last flight of Hawaii. As you can see, the trees are going around quite a bit. We've been flying, but cameras are starting to black out, so I think we're gonna call it. Plus, uh, you're going towards the water, super slow, coming back, super fast. And there's a highway right behind me, so we're trying not to hurt anybody or hit anybody, but. Uh, as you can hear he's flying around in the field over here somewhere. But it's been a lot of fun, met a lot of cool people, and certainly I'll come back to this place and maybe uh, instead of for a drone world, just for a vacation or something, we'll see.